Hey Maria, would you like to grab a seat? Yeah, of course. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, thanks for coming back. Okay. All good, all good. Glad to be here again. Awesome. So, yeah, as um, uh, just to reiterate, awesome uh, pre screening yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, today, we're going to be going through your fitness testing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do some. Um, uh, some resting tests. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take your blood pressure, uh, your BMI, which is just your your height and your weight, um, and then some girth measurements and cool. skin folds. Awesome. Okay, so these are all tests that are related to your goals. Yeah. Um, as we go through each test, I'll explain exactly what the protocol is and and, and what we're about to do. Um, so yeah, are you happy to proceed? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Awesome. So the first test we're going to do is just your uh, blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So I've just got a. Uh, a blood pressure cuff just here so this just goes on your wrist um, so you'll put it on your left wrist mm -hmm. um, I'll start it and then you just got to bring it up to your heart until it detects your your pulse or your heart rate yeah. okay so if you just um, bring your left arm up perfect I'm just gonna wrap that around it's not too tight it's all right no, okay perfect so I'm just gonna press start there and if you just want to bring it up to your to your heart, to your chest, and just with your right arm to just support your left elbow. So just oh. perfect. And it's just gonna detect your heart rate. Perfect. So just take a, a second. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So if you just bring your arm down, what does that say? 125 over 65. Perfect. So 125 over 65. That's awesome. So that's the safe range um, cool. in blood pressure. That's good. That's excellent. Awesome. So no issues there. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do next is we're just going to take your, your height and your weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is a BMI test. Um, and just so you know, BMI is. It's, it's a test that is great to use for populations. Yeah. Um, however, it's not really specific when you're dealing with um, people one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why we do this test is ultimately we want to get your weight um, because one of your goals was to, to lift your body weight. So mm -hmm. we just want to confirm that. Yeah. Um, so are you happy to proceed with that? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll just get you to stand up from there. We'll just come along here and if you don't mind to do this test accurately, yeah. we'll just have to, um, you can do it with your shoes on or off. It's okay for, to do with your shoes off? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So I'm just going to get you to just stand just up against the um, height thing here. Awesome. So I'm just going to put that there. Perfect. So it's one, five, two. And um, I'm just going to get you to stand on scales here so if you just haven't had these in ages you don't have to look if you don't want to so just calculate your BMI awesome so if you just turn and have a look at the, the graph here so you're, um, you're at 154 uh, and your your current BMI is 28 okay so you're in a you're in a normal normal to high range there yeah um, so that's again that's not awesome so next we're just going to take your girth measurements okay um, so we're going to take three girth measurements um, mm -hmm. for yourself um, we'll take the chest measurement because yeah. one of your goals was to increase your strength in the chest mm -hmm. um, and then the waist also so you want to minimize the waist mm -hmm. and then um, another good girth measurement is probably to do the glutes okay um, so that just ensures um, yeah Sweet. We can get a measure um, yeah. for those three sites. Okay. Do you need me to take my jacket off, or are you right? Um, it's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable. We yeah. can we can do it through the we can do it through the jacket. It's probably more accurate if we to do a chest measurement without the jacket okay. because yeah, then next time we do it, um, we just have to ensure that you're wearing the same yeah. thing or something similar. No, it's easy just. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. Is there any other sort of measurement that you'd like to take as well? So we can take the waist, the the chest, and the glute. I mean, we could take um, an arm or or a thigh. Good Maybe measurement. Maybe the thigh as well. Thigh. Be interesting to okay. to see how the running goes and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. So just get you to stand up for us. Have you ever taken your girth measurement? Had your girth measurements taken before? A long time ago. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So I'll just get you to stand um, just here facing um, this way here. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to come from the side. Mm -hmm. So with this test, um, with this measurement, it just I'm just going to be passing it around around you. So if you mm -hmm. just lift your arms up to the side, um, and I'm just going to put that through here. Yeah. Okay. And if you just bring your arms down. Perfect. So I'm just going to write that down. So if you just bring your arms up again, I'm just going to take your waist so just around here. So if you just bring your arms down and if you just um, find your belly button for me and just, yeah, yep, yeah, cool. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Again, I'm just gonna, if you just bring your arms up, I'm just gonna pass this around. I'm just gonna take your good measurement. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we'll just take your, your thigh, so mm -hmm. your right thigh. Yep. So if you just um, step out to the side, um, so bring your, yep. Perfect. Just put that up there. Okay. Just gonna find the halfway point. Yep. So awesome. So just for um, our, our testing reliability, um, mm -hmm. we're just gonna go through that. I'm just gonna do it. That's great. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to take your skin folds. Okay. Um, so there's four sites that we're going to take. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be using the Sloan and Wear skin fold uh, measurement. So I'm going to be taking your tricep, okay. um, which is just behind the arm, mm -hmm. um, your subscapula, which is around the back there, yeah. um, your umbilica, which is just um, just Tummy. around the stomach, yeah, and then the su superiliac, okay. which is um, also just around that stomach sort of area. Um, have you ever had your skin folds taken before? Yeah, long time ago. Though. Long time ago? Really okay. Long time ago. So you know what's involved, yeah. you know that. Okay, yeah. so we're going to be using um, just calipers. Um, it does pinch the skin, so mm -hmm. it might be a little bit tender, okay. um, but just let me know if it's if it's sore or anything like that, and we can yeah. just stop the test. Um, just with the scalp scapula, um, we can do these tests through the clothes or um, on the skin itself. It's, yeah. it's entirely up to you. Uh, we can actually do that um, just through um, the back there. It will involve me um, having to palpate certain areas and then grabbing the skin and pinching it. Are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay awesome. Um, so we'll start off with your uh, tricep. So I'll just get you to stand here facing that, um, facing this way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do everything um, from the right hand side of your, of your body. Okay. okay. So just to find the midway point, the halfway point in your tricep, I'm just going to get you to bend your elbow. Yep, I'm just going to measure the halfway point. So just at the top of the acromion process there and at the bottom of the elbow, I'm just going to find the midpoint. So we've got 34, so we're looking at 17. Do you mind me just making a little mark yeah, just on your fine. skin? Okay, no perfect. Way. Cool, reference point just here. Okay, perfect, cool, excellent. So if you, if you just do that again, I'll just get you to bring your your hand down and just wing the scapula so it just swings there just gonna put two fingers there and then just make a mark just there okay so that's the point there so just bring your arm down perfect I'll get you to um, just turn to the front here we're just gonna take the umbilica mm -hmm. so I'll just get you to find your belly button yep and I'm just gonna measure 
just five centimeters across from the midpoint of the belly button. So that's the umbilica just there. Okay, right side. So it's just a little bit lower there. Oh, yeah. Yep, do you do? That's fine. Perfect, okay. Awesome. So I'll take your tricep first, I'll just get you to turn around. Okay, so this just involves me just pinching the skin, so you are right with that? Yeah. Yep, yeah. okay, cool. So I'm just gonna pinch either side of the mark and then just take a measurement there. So that's at 12. So I'm just going to take the uh, uh, subscapula, so I'm just going to pinch through here, okay, and then on the 45 degree angle, I'm just going to take that there, so it's at 14, oh, that's really good, you're pretty lean, pretty lean already, just um, I'll get you to turn around and we'll just um, look at the front, so just take your umbilica here, so again, I'm just going to be pinching here. So I'm going to take that. So looking at 22. Cool. And then uh, I'm just going to pinch on the 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. Just take that there. And that's at 14. Awesome. We're just going to take that just one more time, just to ensure that our uh, just for our retesting um, reliability. Yep. So I'll just get you to turn around again. We'll just do that one more time. Awesome. So you're looking at around about 25%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, um, if you just have a look at, um, well, 25%. Mm -hmm. So to give you an idea, um, that's how much total body fat that you have dispersed around your body. So for, okay. for calculation purposes, let's say if you're 100 kilos, Yep. and you're at 25%, it's 25 kilos of body fat that you mm -hmm. have dispersed throughout your whole body. Don't be too, it sounds like a lot, mm -hmm. um, but don't be too disheartened because a lot of that is visceral fat, so mm -hmm. it's fats that's stored around the organs. Mm -hmm. And again, this, um, this measurement is not 100% um, you know, accurate, mm -hmm. um, but it's one of the, the best tools that we can use okay. um, yeah, you know, without ha having good. to use high technology yeah. um, to measure your body fat. Yeah. So yeah, you're around about 25% now. So, um, you know, in order for you to, I guess, you know, get those summer abs that you, mm -hmm. were, the, you, you were wanting, yeah. we probably want to look at getting that probably down to the 20% mark cool. um, and, nice. and, and lower. How, how does that sound? Yeah, no, that sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, just to reiterate, awesome um, resting tests. Um, your blood pressure, nothing to be t too concerned about. Um, probably on a little bit, um, lower side if, any, if anything um, so that's safe that's that's what you're good to go with that um, your BMI um, is in a safe range as well so that's mm -hmm. perfect um, in regards to your weight I mean you know you, you're in a good weight um, your girth measurements are currently um, you know really good nothing to be concerned about there um, as we sort of discussed in regards to your goals you're looking to reduce the the waist mm -hmm. in particular and yeah. you did say something about the thigh so yeah yeah just be interesting to see like how it goes with all the training and yep. running over time yes so okay yeah. do you want your thigh um, measurement to increase or stay the same or decrease Is it? um yeah probably like just decrease a little bit decrease a little bit yeah. okay cool um so we'll look at decreasing your thigh measurements mm -hmm. and then also decreasing your waist measurements. Yeah. Awesome. Um, your current body fat is at around about 25%. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as we discussed, in order for your abs to come through, you're probably looking at uh, below 20%. Okay. Cool. So, what we can do in the interim to work along with, with your short term goals that we've already established. Mm -hmm. so, um, looking at your cardiovascular goals, so increasing your cardiovascular endurance from currently 16 kilometers to around about that 30k. Yeah, sweet. How does that sound? 
yeah sounds good it's, a lot. it's good though yeah, yeah yeah so again i charge um 30 bucks for half an hour mm-hmm. um i probably suggest maybe looking at at least one session per week mm-hmm. um but before we go into that uh we'll go into your active tests okay um so we'll do your queen's college step test yeah. uh also your bench press and as we sort of discussed we might even throw in um, a muscular endurance uh test for your core yeah. as well okay sounds good awesome all right so um yeah, we'll be doing these tests within the, in the gym. Yeah. Um, so when are you coming into the gym next? Yeah, same. Same time? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. yeah same time, 11. Easy, yeah. Awesome, I'll be here tomorrow. Um, so yeah, again, I'll see you at the front desk and cool. uh, we'll go from there. Sounds great. Awesome, all right, see you then. Thanks.